I'm Zachary Knudsen, and thank you for tuning in to Piper Report. Please stay tuned for some interesting stories and updates. My name is Colette Litzinger, and I'm the Director of Marketing for Undergraduate and Brand. Going through this process is really just meant to kind of reestablish the Piper mascot uh, and determine its role in Hamlin Pride and Spirit. I think some designs have um, definitely risen to the top, but all of the designs um, are really, really strong. Well, some, of the, some of the costumes um, stick with some of the traditional elements. Um, that's something that the group spent a lot of time talking about. Um, what elements from the traditional costume should remain? Um, and those were kind of the checkered cape and the feather and the hat. We want something tough. We want something cool. We want something that people get behind and cheer. And then figure out what elements um, of a design could evoke those in the school. I think the most important thing is to make sure that whether they're students, whether they're alumni, staff, faculty, or even the community, that they have a voice in this. Well, we've actually developed a website. Um, it's www.hamlin.edu slash piper. And it explains a little bit more about the revamp process. Um, it gives kind of a historical overview of the Piper mascot in general. And there's um, a feedback survey where you can review the designs and submit your feedback. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Piper Report. Today we'll be giving you an inside exclusive look at the Soren Arcade which is being built in the Soren Dining Hall space. The Soren Hall Arcade is scheduled to open at the end of this week and will be available to the entire Hamlin community. The official name of the Soren Hall Arcade has yet to be decided on, but has been narrowed down to three choices, the bunker, the hideaway, and the red gray room. These three choices were put on a survey which will be distributed to students via email so they can help to decide. Hamlin University School of Law has jumped 25 places on U.S. News & World Report's Best Law Schools rankings and is now listed within the first tier of law programs in the United States. Hamlin's Alternative Dispute Program, anchored by the internationally renowned Dispute Resolution Institute, was ranked fourth in the nation, marking the 13th consecutive year the program has been ranked in the top five nationally. The Help Law Program, led by the school's Help Law Institute, moved up one place to 16 in the national ranking. Constructed in 1946, Drew Hall commemorates Charles M. Drew, who was a United Methodist and generous donor to Hamlin. Drew Hall houses 200 men and women who enjoy a variety of lounges and amenities. Drew Hall also houses the School of Education, including the Dean, Faculty, and Staff offices, as well as classrooms. Safety and security is located in Drew as well. The building has security card access and 24-hour surveillance cameras. Drew Hall is located central to Bush Library, Sudden Music Hall, Class Center, and Walker Fieldhouse. This is a double room. It houses two students. Rooms in Drew Hall include a set of furniture for each resident, window blinds, closets or wardrobes, Ethernet and wireless internet access, satellite cable TV, premium channels, and a micro fridge. This is one of the many TV lounges in Drew Hall. Some floors feature resident kitchenettes. There are resident advisors on each floor. For more about Drew Residence Hall and its amenities, please visit this link. Hey Hamlin sports fans, I'm Mira Mistrick and we are here at Bethel for a Hamlin doubleheader. The Pipers are looking to continue their 10 game winning streak. I'm here with junior baseball player Tyler Johnson. I know you're on your way to practice, but I just wanted to catch up with you about your team spring break trip to Arizona. Now, I don't know if it was the weather, but you guys were on fire down there and went 6-0. and And you stretched the school record for winning 10 games in a row. So tell me a little bit about the trip and what helped influence all of your wins. Oh, I think it was the fact of getting outside for over a while. We were stuck in the gym, and as much as we love just working out in the Walker Field House, being outside is the best that could be. And hitting out there, BP, taking ground balls, getting the real feel for the grass and the dirt with the, on the balls, 
it's just sort of really sparked us to have that new energy to play those games. And the great, the hot weather was perfect. We were able to swing, swing our bats really well, and we got a lot of hits and scored a lot of runs. And it was just, it was very good for us. Yeah, it sounds like you guys will really have some confidence going into the next games. Um, I know the team has some co important conference games coming up. So, what is the team looking to accomplish, and is there anything you're focusing in on this week in particular? Um, well, focusing on is just being ourselves and playing our game. Come out fast. Stick to our goals of being top four in the MIAC. So, after each series, we just want to have we want to be in the top four at all times. And with that, we feel like it'll give us the best chance coming at the end of the year to be in a championship race. Well, good luck at practice today and good luck in your upcoming games. Thanks, Thanks. for taking the time to chat to me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Interesting stories. Report on. I don't know what to say, Katie. Most paper report.